Hi guys, so um, before I begin, I just want everyone to stand up, just for a moment. Okay, have a little bit of a wiggle. You've all been having a lot of information overload, so just take it in. And then look at the people around you, and look into their eyes, and just acknowledge <laughs> this environment here. And then you can sit down again. Okay, so thank you to Di, Peter, Bully, Red and Yellow, and to everyone for making it here today, to my friends that popped in now, um, and also to the class of 2018. Um, yeah, truly grateful for this year. Um, I have one more thing for you guys to do, just close your eyes. And I'm watching, so everyone close their eyes. Just bring your left hand to your heart space, and your right hand to your belly. And take a deep inhale breath through the nose. Open your mouth, sigh it out. <sighs> inhale one more time. And sigh it out. So in this moment, I want you to move your attention from your head into your heart and listen to this talk from that space. You can open your eyes and enjoy. So it brings me to my topic, what does it mean to be human? So this has been me for the past month, literally every morning. There's also been a lot of this, that I know is about it, <laughs> and a lot of this, but I regret nothing. So it brings me to my topic, what does it mean to be human? So through a lot of social conditionings, we domesticated in thinking, feeling, and acting in certain ways. So in the same way a cat or dog are domesticated, they're rewarded when they do something good, the same way children are. So if you did something good when you were growing up, good girl, good boy, and everyone's like, yay, I got a reward. But when you do something bad, people are like, no, you are being punished. So they then punish you for doing these bad things. So in, we essentially inherit norms, customs, ideologies, and everything we are today, everything you are today, is based on something that was told to you. So our ideas, thoughts, and beliefs that society has put forth. Society will tell you to be yourself, and then they'll tell you, no, not like that. So there's this generalized understanding of how we should act, how we should love, and how we should behave around other people. Um, so we begin to formulate narratives in our minds in order to make sense of what happens around us. We have these notions of what it means to be successful, what it means to be happy, what it means to be beautiful. And as um, Tyler Durden from the movie Fight Club said, advertising has, has us chasing cars and clothes, working jobs we hate so we can buy shit that we don't need. And basically, we live this mindset where we're going to school, high school, university, work a nine to five, and then just die. It's very morbid, but it's true. It's what we think. We also push to work these long hours, conform to authority, obey rules, customs, laws, and seek jobs, because this will give us job security, right? But, and we think it's gonna pay off, but it really does. So the purpose of being human, or is said really well by this guy named Carlos Castaneda. I should be saying that properly. A great teacher of Toltec wisdom, and he defines what it means to be human. So if you've started reading ahead, he says the purpose of the warrior or the human is to transcend these social conditionings that I just spoke about as we discover our personal power and to learn to live with clear intent and impeccability. This is what some of my friends on Instagram have said about what it means to be human. So, the beauty of being alive for me is definitely people and the moments I have with them. Um, to be human means to have peace. To be human means to be the best you can to create the best world. So moving into my topic now deeper, death is not the biggest fear we have. Our biggest fear is taking the risk to be alive the risk to be alive and express what we really are. This is a quote by Don Miguel Ruiz. He's the author of the book, The Four Agreements. These four agreements have transformed my life and brought a lot of joy in my darkest moments. And I'm about to share these four agreements with you. 
So the first one is be impeccable with your word. Don't take anything personally. Don't make assumptions and always do your best. Just a disclaimer, if you follow these four agreements, no one will throw you a party. And if you don't follow them, no one's going to punish you. So take what you can from them and then use them if you, if you find them beneficial. The first one is be impeccable with your words. So impeccable, peccable from a Latin word means sin. And im is without sin. So using your words in the direction of love and beauty. Because words have energy. They have the ability to help, heal, hinder, harm, humiliate, and humble. Your word is the most powerful tool you have as a human being. And this agreement really speaks about integrity. So saying only what you mean. When people say something to you, you take it on. So I don't know if you remember growing up, someone may have said to you, oh, you'll, you're not a good singer, please stop singing. And then you've carried that throughout your life because it's become your agreement. You believe deep in your core that you're not a great singer, but we're all good singers in the shower, right? Um, so also, like, I, sh I could share a personal story with me. Growing up, I was always told that I was too dark. I'm literally the darkest in my family. So at school, I would be thrown with rocks. My skin would be scratched on just because I was too dark. And I strongly believe that I was not good enough because I was too dark, so I didn't fit in anywhere at school. Um, and this is something we do very often, like talk about other people because we feel better about ourselves. There's two folds to being impeccable with your word. The second part is commitments. We two, I'm sure you guys know this. Let's go have coffee. Oh, we must have coffee. But then you never go have coffee. So being impeccable with your word also means committing to what you say. So let the improvement of yourself keep you so busy that you have no time to criticize others and be impeccable with your word because being human means being impeccable with your word. The second thing, don't take anything personally. So this really changed my life. What people say about you is a reflection of themselves. It's a projection of their own reality. I used to believe that whatever anyone said about me was true. So going back to people saying that I was too dark, I really truly believe that. Until seven years ago when someone said, skin color doesn't matter. And I was like, oh, I get it now. And I believe that agreement and that changed my life. So if you want to be successful, you must adopt beliefs that will empower you to live your life and reach your goals. So by picking up limiting beliefs by what other people say will only slow you down. Being human is about not taking anything personally. Follow your heart, listen to your inner voice, and stop caring about what other people think. The third one, don't make assumptions. So being human means connecting with others. And in order to connect, we need to communicate fully and authentically. Also, as humans, we have the ability to make assumptions about everything, jumping to conclusions. The biggest assumption we make as humans is that we think humans and people around us see the world exactly how we see it. Each and every one of you will perceive this talk differently and every other talk that you've listened to. Making assumptions is all about thinking. We think too much and this leads to the assumptions. So if you're able to communicate fully and authentically, asking questions, you can misavoid drama, sadness, and with just this one agreement, you can completely transform your life. So being human means not making assumptions. The fourth one, always do your best. So for these three agreements to work, you have to always do your best. And I've really seen this over the last month. You can be sick, you can be well, you can be drunk, sober, whatever you are, always do your best because your best is gonna change from time to time. You're not always gonna be 100% and that's fine, but still always do your best. Living fully means taking action. You can have many great ideas in your head, but what makes the difference is taking action and doing your best. So, it brings me to this. If you can connect with yourself, you can start to connect with others. And this being human is so much larger than ourselves. Being human also means being a part of something bigger. 
It's a place to share our ideas and values, growth and change. So once we connect with ourselves, we can connect with others forming tribes. I truly believe as creatives, marketers, future CEOs, class of 2018, that we have the ability to inspire and influence people to think more positively and bring more positivity into this world. We also have the power to influence people to be the best version of themselves, to be impeccable with their word, to not take anything personally, and to really enjoy life. Seth Godin argues that there's no space for mass marketing anymore. So by creating these tribes by the way we think, we will be able to influence these little tribes. And by spreading the positivity, it will be this huge spread of positivity to all these different tribes. So just to end off, keep going. Your hardest times often lead to the greatest moments of your life. Keep going. Tough situations build strong people in the end. No matter where you are, keep going. Thank you.